Honoured guests are now invited to deliver an address. First, Mr. Shinzo Abe, the Prime Minister of Japan, will take the podium. Today, at the opening of the Nagasaki Peace Ceremony on the 71st anniversary of the atomic bombing, I reverently express my sincere condolences to the souls of the great number of atomic bomb victims. I also extend my heartfelt sympathy to those still suffering even now from the after effects of the atomic bomb. 71 years ago today, an atomic bomb dropped on Nagasaki, deprived more than 70,000 people of their precious lives in an instant. In this devastation, even those who narrowly escaped death experienced indescribable hardships. However, thanks to the extraordinary efforts of its citizens, Nagasaki rose from the ashes and made a remarkable transformation into a thriving international city of rich history and culture. In November last year, 70 years after the atomic bombing, Nagasaki hosted the Pagwash Conference on Science and World Affairs, which delivered the message of Nagasaki Declaration, quote, let Nagasaki be the last, end of quote, to the international community. This May, President Barack Obama visited Hiroshima as the first sitting U.S. president to do so. The president of the only nation to have used nuclear weapons witnessed the realities of atomic bombing and, in the presence of atomic bomb survivors, appealed to the world to pursue a world free of nuclear weapons and strongly urged countries holding nuclear weapons to have the courage to pursue such a world. I am certain that this, together with the G7 Foreign Minister's Hiroshima Declaration, gave great hope to the people of Nagasaki and Hiroshima, as well as people throughout Japan and around the world who have never given up their hope for a world free of nuclear weapons. The disastrous experiences that took place in Hiroshima and Nagasaki 71 years ago must never be repeated. It is the responsibility of us who live in the present to keep making efforts continuously towards that end. As the only country to have experienced the horror of nuclear devastation in war, Japan will appeal for the importance of maintaining and strengthening the regime of the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons while firmly upholding the three non-nuclear principles. Japan will continue to make various efforts to bring about a world free of nuclear weapons by calling for cooperation uh, from both nuclear weapon states and non-nuclear weapon states and having world leaders and young people become directly acquainted with the tragic reality of the atomic bombings. In a year in which we will take a new step forward, I pledge once again here in Nagasaki that Japan will make its utmost efforts for the realization of e eternal world peace. Japan has enhanced its comprehensive relief measures covering health and medical services and welfare for atomic bomb survivors on the basis of atomic bomb survivors' relief law. We will steadily promote relief measures by continuing to take into proper consideration the circumstances of atomic bomb survivors who are advancing in years. We are working in particular to conduct screenings for recognizing atomic bomb diseases as quickly as we can so that we can convey the results as soon as possible. I wish to conclude with my heartfelt prayers for the repose of the souls of those who fell victim to the atomic bombing here in Nagasaki, where people continue to pray for eternal peace. I also extend my best wishes to the bereaved families and to the atomic bomb survivors and pray sincerely for the inner peace of all the participants today and the people of Nagasaki City. Shinzo Abe, Prime Minister of Japan, 9th of August 2016.
Next, uh, Mr. Kim Won Su, United Nations Under Secretary General and High Representative for Disarmament Affairs, will take the podium. I wish to convey my solidarity as you gather for this peace ceremony to honor the victims of the devastating bombing of Nagasaki 71 years ago. I'm grateful to the city for organizing this ceremony and keeping fresh in our minds the horrific human toll caused by nuclear weapons. You have come together to mourn those who perished in the bombing and suffered through its horrendous after effects. But your gathering is also a powerful reminder to the international community to spare no effort to ensure such a tragedy never happens again. Peace-loving people in Nagasaki and around the globe gather to remember those who perished at the hands of a weapon that, dis that did not discriminate between gender age, religion, ideology, or nationality. Throughout its history, Nagasaki has been a vibrant and diverse city. When I visited in 2010, I was inspired by the dynamism of your city and its people and stirred by their determination to build a world free of nuclear weapons. That commitment is led by its courageous survivors, Hibakusha. In one voice, the Hibakusha has taken their message to the world, no more, never again. It is a message that must be repeated until we have reached our shared goal of the elimination of nuclear weapons. As the Hibakusha grow older, a new generation must assume the role of messengers of peace. I call on the young peacemakers of Nagasaki to rise to the challenge and ensure that the suffering caused by nuclear weapons is never forgotten. Spread the word with your peers around the world. Your generation did not invent nuclear weapons, but you can be the generation to eliminate them. The United Nations stands with you in striving to achieve a nuclear weapon-free world. Together, let us remember those victims of nuclear weapons and recommit to building a safer and more secure future for all. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Next, Mr. Hodo Nakamura, the governor of Nagasaki Prefecture, will take the podium.
On the occasion of the Nagasaki Peace Ceremony, I reverently offer my heartfelt condolences to the souls of the deceased A-bomb atomic bomb victims together with the residents of Nagasaki Prefecture. On August 9, 1945, an atomic bomb that exploded in the sky above Urakami here each century took the lives of as many as 74,000 people and left 75,000 severely wounded. It destroyed and burned down the town of Nagasaki to the ground. In the town, once reduced to a ruin, enormous number of victims lay and the scream of unbearable pain of the people injured was heard everywhere. Furthermore, radiation released from the atomic bomb gradually ruined the body of the survivors and eventually claimed their lives one after another. And beyond that, it also left the huge scars that will never heal in the body and the minds of those who narrowly managed to survive the bombing. After 71 years have passed since then, thanks to all the untiring efforts of the people in Nagasaki, the town, once reduced to rubbles, was restored and now re-emerged as a greenery and a peaceful city. We must ensure that this peace is more firmly established as our mission. Here in Nagasaki, we have been devoted to passing on the reality of the experience of bombing beyond generations, as well as disseminating a call for peace to the world through such initiatives as organizing talks by Hibakusha and activities with high school student peace ambassadors. However, Far from the aspiration of us, those living in atomic bombed city, the existence of nuclear weapons capable of way more than annihilating mankind poses major threat to the future of us, mankind. Against this backdrop, the Pagwash International Conference was convened here in Nagasaki, November last year. And it proposed 2015 Nagasaki Declaration, which urges the world leaders to heed the voice and the call of Hibakusha and abolish nuclear weapons and ultimately eliminate war itself through dialogue across divides. For the scientists and experts who believe that unwavering sense of morality and ethics are indispensable for technology and mankind to continue to coexist, it was very much meaningful that such a declaration was sent out from the city bombed with nuclear weapons throughout Japan and the world over. In May this year, there was a historic event that the leaders of Japan and the United States visited together another atomic bomb the city of Hiroshima. U.S. President Obama sent out the message from Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park to the world, urging the states possessing nuclear stockpiles, including his own, to have the courage to pursue the world free of nuclear weapons. To embody dialogue uh, across divides, which runs through the Pagwash meeting as its spirit, and further to realize the President Obama's message, we strongly appeal to the nuclear uh, weapons states, including the United States, to participate in the framework of dialogue and, by doing so, to make sure to take the first step forward towards nuclear weapons abolishment. To this end, we strongly hope that the head of each state will come and visit Nagasaki and Hiroshima to understand the horror and inhumanity of nuclear weapons by witnessing them firsthand. We ask the government of Japan, as the only nation that suffered nuclear devastation in the world, to lead the international discussion towards the abolishment of nuclear arms beyond the conventional logic. As this year marks 71 years since the bombing, atomic bomb victims are aging year by year with more than 2,000 survivors dying every year in Nagasaki Prefecture. 
we request the government of Japan to seriously heed the ardent hope of the atomic bomb victims and those who experienced the bombing but not yet recognized as victims due to the limited extent of areas specified as exposed, and further enhance the assistance for them, such as recognizing as having atomic disease and offering more support for those experienced the bombing from the viewpoint of extending more relief. Today, August 9th, is the unforgettable day for the residents of Nagasaki Prefecture, which is the day of a player and the day of a place that the misery of nuclear weapons shall never be repeated for the third time in the world. In concluding my words of consolation, I extend my deepest prayers for the repose of the souls of those who lost their lives to atomic bombs and for the continued good health of the aging atomic bomb survivors and those experienced atomic bomb in and outside of Japan, and I firmly pledge to further strive for realization of a peaceful world without nuclear weapons. Hodo Nakamura, Governor of Nagasaki Prefecture, August 9, 2016. The telegrams and messages from, messages from various circles are posted on the board located on the right-hand side of the entrance to the ceremony venue. Please take a moment to read them.